Okay, guys, let's go ahead and cover one more topic on our probability concepts. So, so, so far we've already talked about the concept of our event space, and or our sample space, and then a specific event. So we've got, you know, some sample space of all possible outcomes. So we could talk about, if we're rolling two dice, and these are all possible outcomes of those two dice rolls in our event space, or our little sample space, sorry, A. Um, the event A would be maybe if just rolling a three, or where the, the dice add up to the number three. That would be event A. So when you roll the dice, you can also roll 12, you can roll um, seven, there's lots of combinations, but event A is only interested in when the dice add up to three. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is a complement. So the complement, let me write this out. So A complement, so it's A with this little superscript C, is equal to 1 minus A. Or we have the probability, sorry, let me, let me write this down a little better. We have the probability of A complement is equal to 1 minus the probability of A. So essentially, if we go back to our picture, if this is event A, A complement is everything that is not A. Or if A was you know, the dice rolls that sum up to three, A complement would be all dice rolls that, uh, that exist except those ones that add up to three. This one is going to be very helpful for when we're trying to, to determine some of our probabilities, where if we can just remember this concept, the probability of the complement of A is equal to one minus the probability of A. One being the 100% probability of an event happening. A is the specific event A happening. And so one minus A is equal to the complement of A. So anyhow, this is really important. Let me write down this concept again. This is called a complement. Okay, good luck you guys and hope that helps out.